sequencing of plays at the end there, first and goal and second and five? Well, we, 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 would, you know, we only had one timeout left. Um, you know, we, when we got the first down, the clock was running. We, we thought we had a good matchup with Aaron as we threw the fade. Um, at that point, we probably could have run the ball, uh, but we thought you know, we, we had some plays that we had practiced all week down there in the red zone that, that we just didn't execute. And, you know, give, give Nevada credit. You know, their kid knocked the ball out of, out of Aaron's hand, and they execute down there better than we did. Not having another timeout, though, probably stop you from running there. No, no doubt. If we, if we had two timeouts, you know, we would definitely run the ball there. They're, they're struggling to, to defend the run, uh, but we have one timeout for this. You know, we had to call it earlier. You know, we had an injury. We had to get, get uh, uh, in the game and have them change jerseys. And then, you know, I had to call a timeout because our defense was on its heels trying to, trying to get in the pile. So, you know, it's a gut-wrenching loss for our guys. You know, I was proud of our, our defense getting off the field there. At the end, I thought we played much better in the second half. You know, gave our offense a chance. They did a great job moving the ball down the field, making plays. We just we ended up three yards short. It's just the big picture. You guys are now one and five, zero and two in conference. What's the mindset right now with you guys just after that type of game? I, I don't think anybody's worried about the big picture. You know, everybody's hurt for this game. But I, but I know this group. The challenge will be at San Diego State next week. We're back home at Bulldog Stadium. Our guys are excited to get back home and get back in this race. Positive was Dontel James having a heck of a game. Uh, just him exploding, really, this game. Does that give you guys a little bit of a spark back there? Absolutely. I mean, Dontel's starting to run the ball the way we, we expect him to. And I was really proud of his effort. He's got to take care of the ball. We had one, one fumble that we, we got to eliminate. But uh, he, he ran the ball explosively and, and, and showed what he can do. Yet, they're uh, using Clyde in the plan. Well, you know, Zach didn't protect the football, uh, but our plan was unless you know Zach did something really ex extraordinary, we were we were planning on that to chase. And we just wanted to see if we can change the pace a little bit with Zach, give him an opportunity, he'd been doing some good things, uh, and let Chase and see from the sideline. And so that was our plan. Our plan was you know to bring Chase in the second half, you know, unless something you know drastic was, was different than what we expected. What was the mindset with the team coming off a hard loss last week and able to pull back this week? And our, our, our guys are great. We have great character on this team. Our guys came out and had a great week of practice. You know, they, they, they forget yesterday and they move on. And I, I was proud of their effort. They uh, show up every day. It's why, why we executed, you know, like the way we did. We were just four yards short. Any other questions? Are you impressed just with the O-line and just how they're doing now? Are they getting a little bit better? Do you see them every week? Yeah, no, I thought, you know, you look at the running game, I, I thought I thought our offensive line did a terrific job. You know, uh, our protection's gotten much better. Um, I'm really proud of the job that, that Coach Weber and our offensive line's doing. You know, uh, we, we got to continue to make strides. And uh, this team is going to play some great football down the stretch because we're going to keep on working at it. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.